Hello friends, today we are going to start a new video series that is uh, short tutorials of uh, Creo Parametric 3.0. So Creo Parametric is a uh, updated version of uh, PTC wildfire series that was the uh, last uh, wildfire was PTC wildfire Pro Engineer 5.0 from after that 5.0 new series is started with completely new layout uh, that is a Creo from PTC so we'll start learning Creo in Creo Parametric 3.0 this is the basic layout when we click the start icon of the Creo Parametric 3.0 it shows a new part generation uh, new for the creating new model and it's an open folder and pretty much limited icon for the start and there is a insertion desktop and side notification window for quick access we will get here two icons that is to hide the side navigation window this one is the icon and for the internal browser there is the icon over here right so we can not uh, click here and turn things inside or outside as we ran to in the way 0 or the older versions so for that purpose the two icons are given for in a toggle way so when we click it will toggle the actions right so this is the layout let's get started and look into the detail about this layout in file tab we have drop down menu with the new open save save as print close manage files which includes rename delete version delete all versions instant accelerator and all that options right so delete version and delete all version is a quick handy to delete out the multiple generated uh, uh, copies of uh, part or assemblies uh, from the folder to make it clear the newer updated version is kept safe and in manage session option we got here it is not display option which was after closing uh, part of the assembly we, if we click this one will remove all the uh, part of assemblies or sketches whatever we have made from the in session and will not be recorded. So if if we have saved that will be fine or the rest it will be fine. That is the update index and all that server management is also there for the other activities. Last two options that are help tab and the option tab right. So in help tab we get PTC telemetric help command search load support system information ptc parametric and this is a reference so what's new and other things so this is a habit tab and in options we got pretty, pretty much uh, detailed menu which contains parrots uh, yet not entered any parrots environment contains this many settings map keys can also be set up model check parameters can be defined and all the things system colors this is a uh, pretty much important for us uh, for the start level if you want to change these things means uh, when we do sketch are the color of the hidden line and the dead terms all that you can change and customize as per our requirement the background of the moon working environment means modeling is uh, by default in white if we wanted to change it to the dark blue then we can also do that model display contains initial default settings like this this entity display selection sketcher right so this 
sketch a constraint sum of particle turned on and dimension constraints hours left. So these are the pretty much detailed settings after the once after we get used to and get the speed on to our work we can customize as per our requirement and so these are all important options seek metal also contains some features and options we can configure our map keys and other settings in from this last step configuration editor or we can browse in uh, other configuration files we made or someone has made and given to you means that is borrowed from your friend or the classes or the school we can import that from here right so this is it for the basic configuration and layout of the Creo 3.0 Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be with me for more de detailed Creo 3.0 tutorials. Follow.